Okay, um, this is the first of my kind of video diaries that I'm going to be talking to you guys about uh, my progress. At the moment, just been researching a lot, doing a lot of, uh, of research, watching documentaries, watching films. Uh, Glenn, for you, Corel by Fassbinder. Uh, I've also been looking to try and watch Matador by Pedro Almodovar, but unfortunately it's constantly out of the library, but I'm going to try and uh, try and get that eventually. Uh, unfortunately not been there. Um, tonight I've been watching a few documentaries, uh, Boogie Woogie Papa, or Boogie Woogie Daddy, the translation, uh, by Eric uh, Befuing. I think he may be Danish, some it's kind of Scandinavian, I'll have to look into that. That's a really interesting documentary, it's similar to La Jete by Chris Marker, which um, which is kind of like a series of still photographs, um, and, and they all kind of are, are edited together very very simply, but with, with an interesting voiceover, and it's a very personal document um, documentary, because uh, he was kind of charting the relationship he had with his father through the photographs that his father left him. Uh, because the relationship kind of broke down and his father committed suicide after becoming a very successful um, businessman but uh, emotionally and personally he wasn't successful and it was a really interesting relationship that was conveyed through just a series of still images and poignant music and voiceover by the narrator who was the director and the producer of the piece and that was a short 12 minute documentary so that was really interesting uh, to sort of show what you can do powerfully within that time with very little uh, moving images. The only thing in it was, um, w w I think it was a projector reel of images, uh, kind of film negatives, because those are the kind of things that he was examining to convey his documentary through. So that, that was interesting. Uh, next one I watched was a film called Lift, uh, really interesting again. Uh, director producer Mark Isaacs, and um, believe it was nominated for a uh, BAFTA for best newcomer uh, in factual um, drama, TV, not drama. That's the burning question. But uh, that was really interesting. Uh, that was actually filmed entirely in a lift, where this man Mark uh, basically based himself ten hours a day inside this lift in this tenement block of flats in London, and. Um, that was fascinating, and all the, the different cultural uh, integration that, that you witnessed just through this everyday interviewing of these people and how much they opened up to him because of, of how much time he, he spent with them. That was, that was, that was really interesting, and uh, some really nice images. Uh, I could tell that the, the screen had been gradiated, so that was, that was interesting. And, um, yeah, just all about the lift. Some cutaways are fantastic. Uh, the elevator and cable, uh, pulling the elevator up and down, just looked amazing on the screen. It was all shot in four by three, so not not even widescreen. Definitely four TV, and uh, and just there was some really interesting cutaways with uh, just a fly on the wall uh, of the elevator or lift, and uh, and just the kind of just the kind of intricacies of the noise that you could hear with that fly and it's just I guess it was just a kind of uh, ironic postmodern uh, twist because of the old fly on the wall documentaries that you've probably heard of uh, Nick Broomfield style well not Nick Broomfield as such I guess maybe Grierson people like that more more so because uh, Nick Broomfield obviously always appears in his films uh, the final one Ben Hopkins footprints um, which is about uh, Laos um, and other places that have been, like Afghanistan and other places that have been affected by uh, cluster bombs. Um, it's called Footprints, and one of the definitions I gave at the start after I gave the definition of cluster bombs was Footprint, total area of land affected by a cluster bomb. So that kind of sums up what that was all about, and that was by interviewees who had lost something one reason or another, one way or another, be it limp, be it emotionally, be it physically, whatever, through these bombs uh, that were still still left in these countries, that these you know munition munitions that were still alive and ready to go off uh, like the day they were dropped. Uh, that was really 
were really good. <sighs> it was from a series called Storyville, um, so that's quite interesting as well. And these are all made about 2001. Uh, I've been looking at a couple of books, Imagining Reality by Kevin MacDonald and Mark Cousins, well, they're editors. They basically brought a whole load of really interesting essays together uh, for my alternative dissertation. Um, it is quite interesting, there's an essay specifically on when documentary is not documentary and blurs the line between documentary and fiction. Uh, that's by Lizzie Franca, and that's, that's really quite something I'm going to write probably a bit about that in my blog. Uh, the documentaries I was watching were actually part of the DVD that was in this, which is quite, quite useful. Um, it's a book by Andy Glynn. So that's fascinating. How do we look at that? I've got a few other books I'm going to look at, but uh, that's, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, I'll have other blogs where obviously I'm going to be talking more about development of what I'm trying to do and things like that because uh, this is possibly me rambling a wee bit and being a bit dull. So I'm going to be trying to be a bit more exciting next time. Maybe even you'll get colour. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try and vary that a wee bit. Get some crazy effects I can do with me old MacBook Pro. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, not really very many funny jokes or anything. Uh, I'll try and provide some more of those later. And I'll also try and provide some more useful facts and entertainment. Uh, for now, me, my pen, my notepad, I will be signing off. So thank you very much. See you later.